guys, thanks so much for watching. Today I'm sharing with you a bunch of pieces I've picked up for plasterlines to get ready for winter and the colder months. It is getting quite a bit cooler here in Ottawa, so I am sharing with you some really fun accessories and key pieces for layering, so let's jump right in. First up, I love layering pieces. They're great, they're so versatile, and they kind of bring you back to the basics but when you add them with accessories or pile them on top of each other, it makes things really interesting. So I wanted to get this striped long sleeve top from Garage. It's a v-neck in the front and the back, and it's pretty flowy. I love that the stripes are this charcoal gray, which is super duper pretty. And this would look great kind of on its own, paired underneath a cardigan, maybe something that's like sleeveless like this. This is a really great basic to have in your closet. Next up from Maurice's, I grabbed the super cute crew neck sweatshirt and this one is a little bit like oversized and extra long which I really like I think this would pair really beautifully with some distressed denim and some white tennis shoes but if you wanted to dress it up it would look equally cute tucked into a pencil skirt and paired with a statement necklace this comes in a ton of different colors I honestly had such a hard time choosing which one I liked best there was green blue gray and then this maroon, so that's what I went for. And you could just like roll the sleeves up to add a little bit of interest, like push it up on your arm. It just looks really cute and adds a little bit more interest. I am loving all the chunky oversized knits that are in stores right now. So I grabbed this one from H&M. It's this really pretty gray sweater. It's definitely oversized and I love that there's a slit at the hem and then it's a bit of a high low. This looks super cute kind of tucked into your jeans in the front and then just let the back hang low. It would look really great with leggings and if it's a little bit on the short side for you, you can put a longer tank top over top or even pair it over top of a little flowy dress with some over the knee boots. Very cute and very warm. Now of course it would not be a bundling up type haul without a scarf of sorts. So I picked up this really chunky circle scarf in this really pretty taupe color from Urban Planet. I love that this looks expensive and it's not. It's got this really nice knit texture to it and you can kind of just loop it twice around your neck and you get all this volume looks so pretty and it looks like it cost so much more than it actually did. This comes in a variety of colors. They had black, gray, like a blush pink. They might have had a baby blue. I think there was a maroon and they had different textures too, but I really loved this one. It's a pretty basic knit, but it's so chunky. It looks cozy and warm and it is. Now you guys know that I love my distressed denim, but I was looking for something a little bit different for fall and incorporating a color into my wardrobe. So I grabbed these olive green skinny jeans from H&M. And what I love about them is that they are distressed. They've got some really cute distressing going on on the legs. And then the bottom is a raw hem. So they've basically undid the hem and it's just they're super cute. I would pair these with a, like an ankle boot and a cardigan. It's just a little bit different than you know your distressed denim and it just takes it up a notch. I'm a huge fan of beanies for winter. They keep you warm plus they're super cute looking and if you have a boyfriend you can like share with each other. I picked up these two beanies from Boathouse. They are the exact same beanie but in different colors. They were buy one get one 50% off and they're by the brand S&T. I think a beanie is the perfect kind of piece to just add to your outfit to add an element of style and the trick I know I've showed this to you guys like in previous years, but the trick is to like put it on your head, kind of on the back of your head, and then just pull down at the back here so it gets really slouchy and like cute looking. And that's it. It's it's super simple, but yeah, you just want to kind of wear it at the back like that. <laughs> A trend that I'm loving right now that is kind of everywhere are chic looking sweatpants. So I grabbed these ones from H&M. They're kind of like this heathered cream color. They've got these really cute zippers in the front and a thick drawstring waistband. And then they're like a skinny leg with a thick cuff, which is really super cute. I had to size down in these because I wanted them to be more slim fitting. And basically you can pair these with anything. They're obviously great for hanging around the house when you just want to be loungy but look a little bit cute. But they would pair really well with some nice tennis sneakers or like a wedge sneaker, you know, if you want to go out in public with them. You just have to keep the accessories chic. So if you pair them with like a leather jacket and a t-shirt, a big scarf, you're going to look really cute, but you're also going to look put together and not like you just rolled out of bed. In keeping with the keeping warm 
theme. I grabbed these over the knee socks from H&M as well. They're this gray woolly material which is super cute. I love these paired with ankle boots and a dress but they look equally just as great peeking out the top of like an over the knee boot where you just see like a tiny bit of the sock and even if you paired them over leggings for added warmth super cute and very easy to wear. Now this could not be a bundling up haul if I didn't show you some kind of footwear so booties these ones are from Aldo I love 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 the fringe on them you guys know that I'm loving fringe these also come in black but a taupe or tan colored booty is super on trend if you're gonna get any boot this season I would highly suggest an ankle tanned colored booty second choice would be an over the knee boot but seriously super versatile you can kind of wear these with jeans leggings dresses they look really really cute very on trend and easy to wear it's kind of like the boot of the season the chunky heel is key or even a lower heel like something flat and I really like the almond toe and again what I love the most about this is the fringe it's just super cute it adds something a little bit extra and it makes the boot a little bit more unique and finally the last thing that I picked up was this floppy hat. This one is from Boathouse and it's gray. It's got this really cute tan colored kind of suede band. I'm loving floppy hats. This one is a little bit more structured than what I've showed you in the past. It's got a slightly different shape. So it tucks in the front. It's a little bit more oval. It almost looks like, I don't want to say a cowboy hat, but a little bit more like a fedora style floppy hat. It's got a little bit more structure so it kind of stays more kind of taut as you're wearing it. It's not so floppy in your face, but I really love it. I love the gray. It's super versatile. Again, you can wear it with anything. And something that's really on trend right now is doing a full gray from head to toe look. So I would pair this with maybe like that gray H&M sweater and then maybe some gray pants. And, you know, for the shoe, I would do probably like black nude taupe something like that like it doesn't have to be a gray shoe I know that's a little bit harder to find but yeah it's called a grout fit gray outfit <laughs> so that is everything I picked up I hope you guys enjoyed this haul leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite piece was and I'll see you guys in the next video bye